What is up guys? Welcome back into the sim content. You guys asked for it, so now we're giving it to you, but this time we're giving it to you in VR. I think this is my first time recording in VR for you guys. Um, this is going to be a little bit different, but we wanted to show you guys the ghost drifting to where you can basically tandem by yourself to better your skills or whatnot. So hopefully this track works. This is VDC Road Atlanta 2022. I'm in a VDC E46. And the idea is sometimes you don't wanna get in an online lobby because you can't find that person you wanna attend with to get better at your chases. This is gonna help you. And how it's gonna do that is you're gonna go through the course as if you were drifting by yourself, run a good lead line, and it's gonna time that lap. And when it times that lap, if it sets the best lap, it's going to record that ghost. When you come back to the start line, as soon as you cross over the start line, you're going to see that ghost reappear, come back to the start line where you started before, and take off. So the objective is to chase that lead lap without passing it, because once you pass it and you set a faster lap time, it's going to reset the ghost. There's a way to turn that off. It is in the description below. To get this whole process running, I have included a video in the description below from Kame Tricks YouTube channel. He got this all set up and it was a really, really, really great discovery. And he shows you exactly how to set this up, how to turn it off to where if you were to accidentally pass the ghost, it doesn't count the lap. So it only has the best ghost that you have. So you can do that if you want so that you don't risk passing the ghost and setting a new lap time. but. We're gonna jump into it. It's gonna take us a couple of laps to not only dial in the track and a good lead lap, but also get the ghost going because it's obviously gonna have to figure out what the best lap is. So we're gonna get going, try and get us a good lead lap and then start chasing. All right, so we're gonna try it with Orlando Speed World. Um, no idea if this one's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna go down through here. So it says it caught our new ghost. We might have to make one more run for this to work. That was not a good lap at all. I don't know what version of OSW this is, but it's not a very good one. All right, so you can see my ghost pop up. So we're gonna go through here, see when we can get him to start moving. Don't know where the start line is. All right, right here. So this one might work. So we let him line up and once he takes off, we're gonna take off with him. And we are tandeming with our ghost. Obviously we can't hit the ghost, but because it is a ghost, but it does give you a good idea how to jump up for proximity. Um, obviously I screwed that up and we can try it again here. It's, uh, this is the point of it, just to get better at the chase position. So we're gonna inch forward until he comes, there we go. And it sucks too because I started way back there for the lap, but really I'm only allowed to start right here as a chase because of the finish line. I'll try it again here. I 
this uh, trick re works really well with a like a lap track. Like if you go to a track that you and your homies are going to do like lap after lap after lap, like the Clutch Kickers track. I'm just a very big competition track fan, so any chance I get to run competition tracks, I'm going to do it. One thing I really need to focus on in the chase is not following their front tire. I need to jump back to their door. And this is a, a really good way to, to figure that out. I mean, obviously this is, we're trying to practice to not only better our skills in the sim, but better our skills in a real car. It kind of translates, uh, lets you know where to put the car in chase. So that's kind of what we're gonna focus on is getting to that the door instead of the front tire. A little wavery around the corner there, but we are on fresh tires now, so we might have the best chance of keeping up. It was a pretty good one. It's hard to keep up on the bank because the lead car already has so much speed because of how far back I started on that lap. All right, we'll do one more good one here and then we will jump into a lap track. Just do lap after lap. Nice. That was an awesome lap. Good one to end on. All right, so I'm gonna go find a lap track now and jump into a different car. All right, so we are at Driftland in the Sujigiri uh, Naoki and his partner's car. All right, we're gonna just drive it like it is. So let's set some laps here and uh, see if we can't get a good follow in. Trying to run wide whenever I can, just to help with the chase position. All right, there's our ghost. Yeah. 
very difficult to follow in this car. Hearing's not quite right for a chase. Alright, let's try it again here. This is very difficult in this car. <laughs> it's between gears and it sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn boost down to 70 and try second gear. Dang it. Let's see if we can catch back up. I think I just used too much handbrake is the problem. One of our transition, I'm using handbrake a lot. I'm gonna try and eliminate using handbrake unless I absolutely have to. Too much angle there. That's definitely my problem. I seem to be able to surge a little bit better now. Let's continue doing that. This is exactly what it's used for, is to try and pick out those little Areas where you can improve. For me, it was handbraking. Obviously we were in the door a little bit there, but it's getting better I feel like. I'm able to stay a little bit closer. You always gotta remember to drop back a little bit so you don't set the better lap time here.
I love these cars because it feels like you can just give it everything and just beat on it in order to get the best performance out of it, and it feels amazing. Like all the clutch kicks and the high rev clutch dumps. Last one. driving inside that car. All right, that wasn't a bad one for the last lap. So, all in all, it's a great feature. Thank you so much, Comedy Trick, for bringing this up to our attention, giving us the tutorial on how to do this correctly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and can get some good benefits out of it. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and the bell icon so that anytime something comes up on the channel, you're the first to be alerted. That's going to do it for this one, guys. See you on the next one.